How to install a sprinkler system, part two. Now in the first video, I showed people what my pop-up sprinklers and pipe work looked like prior to me backfilling the system. And I had a lot of comments and questions asking me why I do things the way I do. So I guess number one, it's really important to have head-to-head -head coverage. One sprinkler throwing the full way to the next sprinkler, like this, all the way across. Have a look at these sprinklers. Each sprinkler is overlapping to the next sprinkler. Now I've got these sprinklers set up high because 100 mil of soil is going in and lawn's going to be laid. And we can do this because I use a flexible fitting called an articulated riser that can manually adjust the height and angle of the pop-up afterwards to get it absolutely perfect, like this. Now I'm going to run you through each station, including the grip line. Watch this. Number five. Look at these beautiful sprinklers overlapping to each other. Number four. Number three. In the middle. Beautiful. Number two. That's as you've seen. And number one. Look at that. Overlapping to each other beautifully. Full pressure, full overlap, Arctic risers, they're going to be perfect. All these fittings are for a simple garden riser. These are called articulated risers and the riser connects onto them. It allows you to manually straighten the riser after installation and if anything hits it, it can be pulled back and won't break.